Well, hello everyone and welcome to another very exciting episode here on the MI Gardener channel. So last episode I brought you all along to show you what was growing and how I was growing it. And there was a lot of questions about the method that I had with regarding the 512 cell trays and the 218 cell trays. Because it's my new preferred method of planting in bulk. Before I would plant in just cups and I'd have to separate the seedlings out, plant them individually, and I would ruin a lot of roots in the process. And I found this method out through working at the greenhouse and my experience there with their mass planting methods. And it's very efficient, it's super easy. And so I wanted to kind of show you guys because I was not, uh, I was not super clear on how you transplanted. Um, obviously it's pretty self-explanatory, but I was not clear on uh, if you could transplant right from these cells into the ground or if you had to move them. And so basically to make a long story short, it is extremely up to you totally 100% up to you. So if you want to plant from these cells right into the ground, you're more than welcome to. I prefer to move them into one, uh, one bigger tray if need be. Um, like th right now, that's what I'm going to be doing because it's not yet warm enough that I want to risk planting them outside yet. So I'm actually going to be transplanting them into a larger four cell container um, and basically like a 72 cell long. So um, so I went from a 512 cell flat now down to a 72 cell flat. So it's basically going to be, um, you know, up a size from where they're currently at. But if I wanted to, if the conditions were proper, I could actually transplant, transplant them right into the ground. So it's really versatile and it's totally based on how you want. But it, as far as the ease of planting goes, there's nothing like it and it's totally uh, terrific. I will say that with this method you do get a little bit of root bound because part of the reason this method works so well is it it um, it takes up all of the cell because it's a one inch by one inch cell and so the cell itself gets surrounded by roots and allows you to pull the plant right up and it makes a little plug. Without the roots taking up all that space when you go to pull the plant out all the soil will just fall off anyways completely defeating the purpose. So you want to let them mature a bit in this tray here um, before I would transplant when I only had one set of uh, one set of leaves basically their cotyledon leaves the seed leaves so I wouldn't want them to get their adult leaves in this sense I let them get about one to two sets of adult leaves before I even think about transplanting because that tells me that the root structure is very mature I also will sometimes take the the tray and I'll look on the bottom and if you can see some roots starting to form in the bottom, sometimes you can see them um, poking through, sometimes you can see them doing a little spiral. That also lets you know that the root system is mature enough so that you can um, pull them out and make a transplant. All right, so there was quite a bit of question about how to get the plants out of the cells. I still don't prefer to take it and just yank it out because it's really uh, not good for the plant. You can sometimes break it right off of the stem. Sometimes it's not really easily worked out. So what I do is I take it, just a regular Phillips screwdriver, just a cheap old, old one, and I actually took a hammer and blunted the end. Um, I don't know if you can see that, but I basically just took it, I set it down on the table, and I just hit a hammer on it to make a flat end here, and that way it doesn't split the soil, because the bottom of these trays actually have a hole in them, and that allows you to take your, that allows you to take your, your screwdriver, poke it through the hole, and now instead of um, ripping all those roots out, you now can pop out the plug and then help it out instead of doing all the work by just yanking on the stem here. So this uh, transplant is ready for the soil. All right, I'll do another one for you all. So I just take it, just pop it out there, and it comes out perfect. As you can see, just a tiny, tiny bit root bound there. Not a whole ton, but just enough so it holds the soil in place. So I have a plug here and they're a little bit laggy um, you know that's just the nature of growing these things I'm not super good at growing brassicas but they'll be totally fine once you get them in some good soil I typically just make a hole with my finger push them down and then I just take some extra potting soil and I actually just pop it in just like that and um, and that way it gives it a little support and um, you know, it, 
it comes along with growing your own your own seedlings. It's never going to be perfect. They're never going to look uh, one hundred percent, you know, what they should be. But once they get some nutrients, they're going to look great. So I'm going to get another one here, and um, it's just so simple. I mean, once you get the knack of this, uh, it just it just flies by. So I'm going to do this hole right here. Just make a little bit bigger of a hole, drop it in, give it a little bit of a push to get it down, and I just backfill a little bit there, and it supports it. And, um, and if you need to add a little more soil, you can. With this one, it's uh, pretty self-supporting. So I'm gonna move on to uh, the rest of these, and then I'm going to get back with you when I'm all finished. All right, so I'm just about finished here for the day. I hope you all enjoyed this episode. Hopefully you learned something new, and hopefully this makes your planting a whole lot easier this spring. So definitely go give this a try if you haven't already. Also, if you're, n if you're not able to be planting this year with this method, make sure you get them for next year because I seriously would recommend it for anyone that is um, a beginner or advanced gardener. It is just so simple and so easy and so efficient too. So. Um, yeah, that's about all I got this episode. I will catch you all later. Make sure you tune in for the next episode. It's going to be super, super exciting. I know you all are going to want to see it. It's something that Cindy and I have been wanting to share with you for a very long time. However, we've been keeping it a secret so that we can make sure that it's the ultimate surprise for you all. So I guarantee you, none of you know what it is. So that's why you have to stay tuned and tune in for Friday's episode. You all are going to love it. All right. Take care. Have a great day. And as always, I'm my gardener reminding you to grow big or go home. I'll talk to y'all later. See ya. Bye.